special Thanksgiving edition of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast coming at you live and direct. And as my friends south of the border in the U.S. of A. slip into their trip to pin comas, gobbling up the gobble gobble and all the rest of the delectables, I am doing a podcast episode talking about three cash eating gremlins in your business that cause griping instead of gratitude. It is the day of gratitude. And yet many of you are griping internally because your business is slacking and lacking. Your business is in stagnation or regression and you're hurting inside because even though you have much to be grateful for, you have friends, you have family, you have health, you have the use of your faculties like eyes and ears and taste buds to enjoy that turkey, you're still not feeling happy because let's be real, if you're not growing, you're dying. And if you're in stagnation or regression, that hurts. There's a part of you that moans and groans for growth, for excitement, for the joy of victory. And yet, if you're not growing, you're dying. And so there's an internal griping. If you are in that place, chances are there's worry, there's anxiety, there's fear, there's shame or guilt or any matter of negative emotion that shows up that has you feel less than grateful on a daily basis or less than the full capacity of gratitude you'd like to step into. And so I'd like to talk about these cash eating gremlins, as I call them, that cause you to gripe either explicitly or just internally. Maybe you're someone who's vocal about it, or maybe you kind of just suppress it and keep it within yourself and try not to have your loved ones hear about it because they don't want to hear you complain. And so you kind of buffer them, protect them from the impact of your business not being where you want it to be, but yet for you, it hurts. For you, it's stealing your joy and it's stealing your peace. And it might even be stealing your sleep. So let's talk about these three gremlins, shall we? The first one is gremlin number one, the cash eating gremlin number one. And I call that straight up old school cold calling, okay? Straight up cold calling. That's where you're doing it the old school way, picking up the phone, smiling and dialing, and you ain't smiling anymore because you're getting rejection. People aren't giving the time of day. They're not receptive, and you're wasting a lot of time, a lot of energy, and it's not fun, and you feel like you're wasting your time, or you feel like these realtors are apathetic and just don't care, and or you are booking appointments, but you're not actually getting real partnerships because the way you're approaching it doesn't provide a compelling unique value proposition such that you become the only logical choice. So you might be meeting and greeting and spending money at Starbucks, meeting with these realtors, taking them out for lunch and whatever. And yet at the end of the day, you're not getting those solid partners. You might be getting promises, but no solid partners or the partners you are getting are the whining, sniveling, complaining, jelly donut eating, bottom feeding partners instead of the top dogs. All that is really doing it the hard way and it's usually inside of old school methods where you talk to a, a, you know, a broker owner or a branch manager or your supervisor or whatever and they tell you, hey, it worked for me 20 years ago, it worked for me 10 years ago, well, I got news for you, it's the 21st freaking century and that stuff don't work anymore. So we got to find a better way. We got to find a better way to reach out to these realtors that does not require all this manual human effort. We've got to find a better way than calling the same realtors every Monday, the same 40 realtors every Monday. And you might think you have a unique value proposition, but if it's not getting you top producing agents to make you their exclusive, it ain't working. Simple as that. Or if it's getting you there, but it's getting you there slow as molasses in January, that's a term we use up here in Canada. Uh, if it's getting you there, like, you know, it's literally slipping you into a coma. We're talking about trip to big trip to fin comas before, because we're all eating turkey, at least those south of the Canadian US border. Uh, I know you guys are chomping on your turkey legs probably right now as I speak. And uh, your eyes are starting to roll into the back of your head because you had too much wine and too much turkey. 
But if you're noticing that you're slipping into a coma in the slowness of the process of trying to get these realtors on board, it's kind of like watching paint dry, then you might want to consider a better, smarter, more effective way. And the better, more effective way is to target top producing agents, use technology to reach out to them by text message, voicemail, and email, and then let the cream rise to the top. So you're only talking with the people who are hot for what you got, who are engaged, who actually want to speak with you, and then have such a killer kick-ass value proposition, unique value proposition, that when you meet with them, you're like a hot knife through freaking butter. They're hot for what you got. They're chopping at the bit and they're literally begging for the opportunity to work with you. If you don't have that kind of unique value, then you're definitely doing it the hard way. And that is a cash eating, opportunity eating and time wasting gremlin that will cause you to gripe instead of beam and gleam with gratitude. And we got to turn that around because life is too short to be messing around griping. We got to get you glowing with gratitude where you're kicking ass, you're taking names, you're chewing bubble gum, you're crushing it, you're climbing new mountains, not sliding down old ones, and you're expanding, you're growing as opposed to regressing and dying and stagnating, right? So that's the first of the three gremlins that you want to steer clear of, and chances are a lot of you are cold calling or you're doing it the old school method, calling the same realtors every Monday with a lame ass value proposition and they're starting to ignore you or you're just feeling kind of weird about it because you don't really have something super compelling to offer them to bring value to their life every Monday. So you're like, why the hell am I calling them? They know deep down inside why you're calling. So you might as well just bring it straight up and show them how to become irreplaceable and indispensable on their team by adding so much value they wouldn't even consider working with anyone else. That's what you want to do. You want to provide such kick-ass value they wouldn't even consider working with anyone else. And if you even give them an inkling of a suspicion or a sense of fear that you might pull the plug on what you provide, they go into spontaneous convulsions at the mere thought of it because the pain of disconnect so high. That's the kind of unique value you want to be bringing to the table. If you're not bringing that kind of unique value, that's definitely a cash eating gremlin that's going to steal your joy, steal your gratitude, and cause you to gripe internally because it sucks when you're trudging through the mud with concrete blocks on your feet. It sucks when you're worrying where your next deal is going to come from. It sucks when you got too much month at the end of your money and you're wondering how you're going to be paying the bills and the avalanche of bills keeps flowing in and the pipeline dries up. That sucks. We got to turn that around. That's no way to live. This is no dress rehearsal, right? This is a one shot deal. We might as well have you guys kicking ass, loving life, doing what you do best, get the best to do all the rest, dancing in your strengths, operating in your zone of genius. And to do that, we got to get you avoiding these gremlins. So the second gremlin you want to steer clear of is being passive versus proactive. That means you might have a passive lead source. That's great. Uh, but if you're being passive about your follow-up or you don't have an aggressive follow-up system that's turning those leads into closings and cash in your wallet, you're eating up a lot of cash. You're leaving a lot of cash on the table and it's chewing up a lot of your profit margin if you're paying for advertising because, you know, if you're generating 100 leads a month, for example, and you're only closing one or two of those a month, instead of closing three, four, five of them a month, then your, your cost of acquisition goes way up and your fixed costs in terms of your advertising spend is the same regardless of whether you close five deals or one deal. So you might as well squeeze as much profit producing nectar out of those leads as possible by having proactive, effective follow-up. And you also wanna be spending time on a daily basis with proactive lead generation. If you're not doing that, you're drifting, you're not driving. You're being passive as opposed to proactive. And I've never, to this day in 15 years in the game coaching mortgage professionals, seen a, a rock star, top producer, growing every year, kicking ass and taking names, top producer, who had a passive lifestyle, who had a passive modus operandi. It just doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. So you want to be proactive as opposed to passive and reactive. And that is a cash killing gremlin that will kill your profits all day long. If you have a passive approach to your business and you're waiting for the phone to ring and there's only one true way to consistently grow your business. And that's having a proven system for getting 
top producing agents to make you their exclusive, put you on their speed dial, and mine the gold from your database so you're maximizing repeat and referral business. That's the shortest path to the cash. There is no faster way to the cash than that. You can get leads on Google AdWords. You can get leads on Facebook. You can put out you know, door hangers or flyers or whatever. I don't care what else you do, but there's nothing more profitable and nothing more expedient to growing your business better, faster, easier than those two things. And so if you don't have a proactive proven method by which to do that, you're leaving a lot of money on the table and chances are you're griping, whining, stumbling, complaining, and moaning about your business a lot more than you could be or should be. And I want you glowing with gratitude. I want you having your best year yet. I want you climbing new mountains, not sliding down old ones. I want you going on vacation, five star, first class, not cattle class. I want you having a ton of fun with fulfillment. I want you having top talent team in your operations so you can just be dancing in your strengths, doing what you love and doing what you do best and getting the best to do all the rest. I want you living the dream, not just hoping, wishing and praying for it. But you can't do that if you're operating in a path, passive way. We got to be proactive as opposed to passive. We got to get you driving instead of drifting. Agreed? The next cash killing, cash eating gremlin you want to steer clear of is this. It is trying to reinvent the wheel on your own. Trying to figure this thing out on your own. I talk to clients all the time that have been in the business for a decade or two or three, and they're still trying to reinvent the wheel on their own. They're still having sleepless nights, leaving a shit ton of money on the table, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year on the table in their database, and they're still trying to tinker around, figure all this stuff out on their own. It's doing it the hard way. It's like, seriously, why try to? reinvent the wheel when the wheel's already been invented. Why not just stick your key in the ignition and drive away with a proven system? That's going to cost cause you a lot more trouble and struggle unnecessarily. And it's going to waste an inordinate amount of time unnecessarily that you can never get back. Time you sacrificed away from your family, time you sacrificed away from your significant other, your kids, that you can never get back magical moment adventures with your family you can never get back that you could have been enjoying but you weren't because you were in the office with the office ball and chain having a glorified job instead of a real business and so trying to re reinvent the wheel is like trying to cook a souffle when you've never cooked souffle before and now you're just winging it thinking hmm i wonder what's in a souffle i wonder if there's eggs in there i wonder how many eggs there is i wonder if there's some flour in there. I wonder how much flour. I wonder what temperature the oven should be at. I wonder what sequence and proportion all these ingredients should be in. And you're just winging it as opposed to going online and doing research for a master chef souffle recipe. And then, you know, within one click, bada bing, bada boom, you've got a master chef souffle at your fingertips with the recipe, with everything you need to create a master chef souffle and not mess around and wing it, but get to the outcome instantly on your first attempt. That's the power of having a proven system. That's the power of having a proven plan. That's the power of having a mentor in your corner. So you can just get straight to the outcome. Why waste your time? People think, hey, education is expensive. You know what's expensive? Try ignorance, doing it the hard way. That's expensive. So if you guys would like to take advantage, if, you, if you're digging what I'm sharing and you are wanting to have a quantum leap breakthrough in your business in the upcoming year, and you're sick and tired of spinning your wheels, you're sick and tired of having these cash eating gremlins just chewing away at your profits and your peace of mind and your joy, and you're ready to step up to a whole new level in the new year, and you realize that your way ain't working, and you realize that your way ain't ever going to be working because if you keep heading east looking for the sunset, we're going to have a problem today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. If you have the wrong strategy, it doesn't matter how motivated you are. You can be motivated, but if you're motivated heading east looking for the sunset, you got the same problem, right? So if you're noticing that your way ain't working, that's not a problem that you can fix on your own. You need professional support professional guidance, professional mentorship, and a proven plan. 
And if you are in a place where you're just fed up doing it the hard way, you're fed up with spinning your wheels, you're fed up with all the fear and the anxiety and the worry, the sleepless nights, the trud, you know, trudging through the mud with concrete blocks on your feet, spinning your wheels, and you're just done with that. You're ready to step up and add at least $100,000 plus to your annual income while working smarter, not harder, while putting in the same or less hours and just being more productive and more effective and having more fun while you do it. I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough coaching call with myself or one of my team, one of my consultants, where we lift up the hood on your business and we look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at now, where do you want to be? We help you get crystal clarity on what it really takes to create a breakthrough in your business. And if we can help you and if we decide that we can help you and we want to help you and we're the right synergistic fit, we may make you an offer to be one of the clients we bring on this month to help them transform their life and their income and create a quantum leap breakthrough in your business. That's an if, of course, because we don't make offers to everybody. We need to make sure that we are indeed the right fit. But if you'd like to explore how we can help you create a breakthrough, and if you'd like to get crystal clarity like you never have before on how to make this upcoming year your absolute best year yet, then I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call by going to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Go ahead and book the call and I look forward to connecting with you and I'm looking forward to helping you create a breakthrough like never before, my friend. So make it a wonderful day. If you are in the US of A, enjoy your turkey and celebrate and revel in how blessed you really are. And I'm looking forward to pouring gasoline on the fire so that you feel blessed beyond measure in the upcoming year and you're taking ground, you're kicking ass, you're taking names and you are stepping in the best version of yourself every day, conquering new mountains, not sliding down old ones, and really stepping into your greatness. So go forth, take massive action, bring massive positive energy to that action. Chances are you'll get awesome, breakthrough, unprecedented results, my friends. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. If indeed you are in the US of A, be blessed. This is Doran Aldana coming at you on Thanksgiving in the U.S. of A. We're Canadian up in here, up in Canada, land of hockey pucks and beaver pelts and igloos because we're advanced like that. We beat you to the punch once again a whole month early. That's just how we roll up in Canada, baby. But don't hold it against you. When you're advanced like that, that's just how you got to live. You know, it's just how it is. <laughs> so again, Doran Aldana coming at you from MortgageMarketingCoach.com. Book your call, MortgageMarketingCoach.com forward slash apply. This is, again, the Art of Mortgage Marketing on the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. Be blessed. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.